Hello YouTube, welcome from my stoop. Uh, this is the classic 1940, apparently, model Zippo, which I recently got. I'm not sure whether, I didn't live in the 1940s, so I wouldn't know, but, but apparently that's the 1940 style. Um, yeah, welcome. Uh, <clears throat> I'm enjoying this nice hot uh, spring day. Um, one of the rare days which I uh, could afford a few minutes off to, uh, to just sit back and relax. I was recently quite busy with some uh, money-making schemes. Any case, I'm smoking uh, uh, cordial, Cornell and Deal cordial, in uh, in a Charles Gossard. A pipe which my son gave me recently very nice and uh, yeah actually that's the topic which I want to discuss today uh, I made a, a, a video earlier which disappeared I copied it from from the camera to my to my computer and it's just missing nowhere to be found so uh, so this is a remake <laughs> kind of um, the topic is uh, maybe a very trivial topic, uh, and I'll, 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 I'll tell you why I think so, but nevertheless, it's something that I was wondering about in one of my sessions of just sitting back and thinking about things. I watched a video about, um, and I'll try and remember the channel and put the link for you there. I watched a video where the guy asked the question why is Daniel Pipes so sought after Pipes? Um, now that made me, you know, that started my thinking processes while I was uh, sitting and con contemplating and, and the thing that I was thinking was, uh, or contemplating, trivial as it may be, was the difference between handmade Pipes and what shall I call it, fabric made or uh, mass production, maybe mass production is not really the nice, the, the correct word, but let's call it mass production. And it follows up on my previous video where I discussed the, the differences between artistic pipes and good engineered pipes. Uh, and my conclusion there was what makes a master pipe maker is when you can combine those two uh, and and uh, yeah, managed to to be good engineered as well as a beautiful pipe. Um, but yeah, so handmade pipes is generally any any handmade or craft uh, craftsmanship is is very popular because um, and probably various reasons, but people like to to know that a, a person made this um, there might be some imperfections but that adds to the to the whole fun of it or to the whole experience and um, handmade made pipes is a craft um, like craft beer and craft gin and everything that's now lately been made as a craftsmanship um, and we like it because of the passion of the person who made it and you know, and the, and the attention to detail. So one could make the assumption by saying that a handmade pipe is there for a good pipe. Now, the trivial thing that I was thinking about is, is there a difference between a handmade pipe and a fabric production pipe? Ex except obvious for, for the handmade or not but in terms of smoking pleasure and quality because 
I mean, you all will agree with me. This one is handmade, smokes perfectly. I enjoy it, no problem. Very, very nice. But I also do have a lot of production pipes, which smokes awesome, and you know, which I love, and and they are really, really good pipes. So we can't therefore say that a production pipe uh, is necessarily of a lower quality or a lower standard as a handmade pipe. It might be personal taste or uh, you know what I like or the fact that I'd like to to know who made this pipe by hand but that might be the only reason but we can't necessarily assume that a, a handmade pipe is by default a better pipe. And that brought me to the Daniel question. Um, look at Daniel, they are probably for, for most of the process production pipes, I don't know. Um, but they are appear to be excellent pipes. Maybe not really the, the price worth, but nevertheless they are excellent pipes. And they are sought after all over the world. But so, so, so is uh, the, the three Savinellis that I have are great pipes. I love them. And they smoke every time is a good smoke. Um, my Stanwell Hans Christian Andersen is an awesome pipe. I, I love it. And, and there's many others. You will also be, um, recall a lot of pipes that, that you own, which are classified as mass produ production pipes, which are great pipes. So, so that's the trivial, the trivial thing that I thought about. Is it the briar? Is it... Um, what is it? Why, why are some production pipes like Daniel so sought after? Um, and you know, what's the difference between a handmade pipe and, and a production pipe, except for the fact that the one was made by a person with passion, with craftsmanship, uh, you you might know the person, and obviously that would add some some value to you. But um, yeah, as I said, trivial question, <laughs> but something that I was just thinking about. Um, so yeah, production pipes need not be inferior to any other pipes. Um, yeah. And of course, one thing that I think we often miss is the value. Mm, but this is nice. Mm. Just hold on. Mm, very nice. Any case. We should never forget that there's a huge value that we put on on things uh, which are very, very subjective. If I like, um, if if I if I were a personal friend of 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 a pipe maker, that would immediately cloud my judgment to such a matter that uh, to such a point that I would probably say that his pipes are better than others. Um, even if there's one that's, per that's maybe not as good, but we would already have a pre, uh, a priori, a pre-judgment uh, made, and, and we would then va uh, evaluate our experience from that. So I think that is a, something not measurable, but something that is definitely there. I wondered one day, for example, if I pick up that one seven alley which I know smokes beautiful, would I admit to myself one day when it doesn't? <laughs> Am I not so pre-judged about that pipe that irrespective of, of, of how I taste it at that specific moment? It is awesome. It is great.
point is one might say who cares and, and I think that's exactly the point if you enjoy your pipe if you sit back and you relax and you can enjoy the taste and the smell and the feeling of that pipe like I'm doing now that's all it is isn't it So on that wonderful note, I'm going to finish this pipe now. But thank you for watching and I love your comments and thank you for your generosity and your kindness, your friendship and um, yeah, please subscribe and uh, I would love to hear from you about this topic. See you then. Enjoy your day and and enjoy your smokes. See you. Bye-bye.